right, so we're going to do the second most important part. Some would argue the most important part, but um, we're going to do our eyebrows. Our brows. Our brows. Eyebrows. Yeah. So if you want to face the camera, I'll kind of talk about how um, to start your eyebrows and kind of if you're not really sure about where you should start them. Normally, if you look straight at the mirror and hold up a brush, you'd start right where your nose is. So just kind of in this area. If you want to know where your arch is, you start here and then go through the center of the pupil and that's where your arch is. And then for the end of the kind of tail of the brow, you go from the nose to the, the corner, uh, the outer corner of your eye and that's where the end should be. And then you kind of can play with brow shapes, but I like to do kind of a stronger brow for her. So what I'm gonna do is start with the, um, just kind of the general shape. And I like to use an angle brush um, instead of a pencil because it tends to have a bit of a softer look and more natural, yet still gives a really nice sort of, uh, sort of nice definition. I remember the first time I got my makeup done. Mm -hmm. And where was it? <sighs> was it? No, it was in Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, it was before a dance, actually, in high school. I don't know. I like wanted to get my makeup done really bad. So yeah, I think it was a dance. Actually, for my grad, I got my makeup done, and she didn't do what I liked, and it was really bad. Where was I for your grad? I know. I could have so used you, girl. Self. I could have used you. I'm really glad that I kind of shaped them beforehand. Yeah. They look fierce. Yeah? Yeah. If I do say do so say. myself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. And it's okay if they're a little bit darker than your hair. Um, like, because blonde won't really show up. So if they're a little bit darker, I mean, this is kind of like a ashy sort of blonde brown. Um, it helps kind of the pinup brow usually is a little bit stronger and a little bit more arched. But yeah, if she were to do like a more natural, neutral brow, yeah. then I'd go with a bit of a lighter color. But this is going to look awesome because you want it to actually show up. Yeah. Yeah. So the next step I'm going to do is the crease, which is sort of this area. If you kind of don't know where it is, um, it's this sort of where your eye socket is. So just right here, there's a little sort of little groove where it looks really nice if you contour that area with a darker shadow. Alright, so I'm just going to use, this is a really nice sort of chocolatey color that I like from Clarins actually. Mm. It's called Hot Chocolate. Mm. I like hot chocolate. Pretty good. Mm. So yeah, I just kind of stick to the outer corner of the eye. I don't want to pull it too much forward because I want to kind of, you really want to see the contrast between the two. And I'm just kind of pressing this with a smaller crease brush onto the eye. bigger crease brush to kind of blend it all together. So there's no harsh lines or anything like that. And then we'll do the same thing with the other eye. Makeup is such a therapeutic thing. It isn't is. It? It's nice. Mm -hmm. Very relaxing. important to feel what you, to look what you feel on the like, yeah, inside and outside, you absolutely. know, like if you feel confident in yourself, it's not about like, you know, slapping on a whole bunch of makeup, it's about just kind of emphasizing your best yeah, features, your, features. Your, your assets, if you, you really know? love your eyes, yeah. um, if you think you have really beautiful lips, like mm -hmm. there's always, there should always be a focal point with your makeup, you don't want to have them compete with each other, so yeah. if you do a really strong eye, you don't want to go for a really strong lip. For the most part, unless Usually, you want to do a really dramatic Sometimes look. we do. Yeah. Um, but for the most part... You choose something to feature yeah. like the most, right? Yeah, and then the rest you just look Then like you don't clean. have to. Like, you don't have to do as much, I feel yeah, like, um, for the rest of it. Like, I'll go out with, like, 
eyebrows and lips kind of those are like yeah. you just like choose something that's okay like how am I gonna make this look but you also have to do some crucial things which are like just some color or foundation like a yeah. little bit of blush and stuff I use a lot of bare minerals yeah. um, foundation not foundation but like the um, just the, the powder? yeah the powders and such and the blush I really like they have kind of a shine to them so what I'm doing now is adding a little bit of kind of a, a bright white color just on the inner corner and um, on the on the lid to add a little bit more of a, a contrast and it's going to be a really really nice contrast against the dark liner that I do on her. I think some girls make a mistake by doing them this like too harshly. Yeah. You know like you going too have to, too white. To blend. Yeah. But um, this Very is a really important. nice color from MAC. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like I don't know. Can't remember. Whatever. It's a really They're not paying us. <laughs> yeah, Max not paying us, so it's all good. They do have good makeup though. They do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of put it on with actually I will promote Mac because this brush is awesome. I love what this guy. Is number? This is a 239 and it's a really awesome sort of uh a uh, brush for um, just kind of dabbing color on the uh, lid. You don't really want to add a lot of pigment. So it looks a little bit crazy now, but we're going to use our crease brush and blend it. Add a little bit right underneath the brow line, just on the brow bone, to highlight this. A lot of people put a lot of shimmer underneath. I don't think that's necessary as long as you have a nice sort of light, crisp color right underneath. It'll really make that brow pop. And then just make sure you blend that as well, so there's no harsh lines. Should I tell you every time I glance at your chest? You should. Just keep me informed. Oops. Oops, did it again. Oops. 